Hello, peoples. Before we get to today's Dream Team, I want to make a little announcement. Several viewers of mine have brought up the idea to me of them actually participating in some of the battles I use for this series. Now at first I was sort of skeptical because even I didn't know when I was going to be able to record this footage. But my schedule has opened up a little bit, so I'm announcing a live stream where you all can come and battle me at your leisure, including against the three brand new teams that you all voted on a few days ago. The stream will air on YouTube and Google+, and it will begin on Saturday, July 11th, at 1 o'clock p.m. North American Eastern Daylight Time. So if you live in a different time zone, you can find out what time that equates to where you live. In the meantime, I got some Pokemon I want to show to y'all, so roll that intro! Greetings, people of Earth and Worlds Beyond, and welcome back to Pokemon Dream Teams! Today, we're getting theological up in here with the God Tier. Back in the days of the Roman Empire, there was a god for just about everything. Commerce, the arts, war, love, rain, time, agriculture, wine... No, seriously, there was a goddess of wine. I wonder how she got the job. The point is, like many ancient cultures, the Romans created an elaborate network of deities and supernatural forces as their way of explaining the unexplainable. Honestly, the only thing that's changed between now and then is the scale. And as it just so happens, all of you watching right now know who some of the most important Roman deities were, even if you may not be aware of it. Perhaps Mercury rings a bell? Or maybe Venus? Yes, the very planets in our solar system were actually named after some of these Roman gods. And today, we're all going to learn a little bit more about six of them, through the use of pocket monsters. Let's get going! Mercury is a jack-of-all-trades kind of god. I imagine he must need a dozen or so secretaries to keep track of all his duties. Among other things, he's the god of commerce, communication, poetry, divination, luck, and thievery. After looking around a while, the Pokémon I found which best reflected Mercury's role in ancient Rome was, surprisingly, Kecleon. In the Pokémon Mystery Dungeon series, the item shop in town is always run by two Kecleon brothers, but they can also randomly appear with a few items for sale in dungeons. And should you try to take one of these items without the necessary money to pay for it, they will call on their Kecleon brethren to deal with the thief. Commerce, luck, and thievery. The Kecleon on my team is sporting an assault vest, as well as the Protean ability, more famously used by Greninja. Kecleon will take them on with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Sucker Punch, and Fire Punch. Venus is pretty much the eye candy of the god world, much like Aphrodite of Greek lore. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, lust, and fertility. Now, I highly doubt we're going to find any examples of those last two in Pokémon, at least not with sources that are canon, so we're left with love and beauty. And what better choice to fit those criteria than Milotic? Originally starting out as just a humble Feebas, which wins the award for most unnecessarily difficult Pokémon to find ever, it could only be evolved originally by maxing out its contest beauty stat which wins the award for most unnecessarily tedious evolution method ever. However, when it finally does evolve, its beauty is captivating and it can send out waves of energy to help calm feelings of anger. In other words, generating love. Today, my Milotic is holding leftovers and has the Marvel Scale ability. She'll be running Scald, Ice Beam, Dragon Tail, and Recover. Terra Mater, also known as Tellus, is the goddess of the Earth and Agriculture. Many of the rituals and prayers surrounding this goddess involve her power of growth and purification. She is often depicted with bunches of fruit or flowers, and in some interpretations, she is closely related to Dea Dia, the divinity of the clear sky. Shaman, anyone? My shaman today is holding choice specs, as well as her ability, Natural Cure. To attack, she's using Seed Flare, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Healing Wish. Mars is one of the most commonly misunderstood gods out of the lot, and that's unfortunately due to him being compared to other gods of other cultures that share his title. Mars is the god of war, and also a secondary god of agriculture. Now, when most people hear god of war, if they don't think of this guy, they tend to think of a tyrannical overlord who loves to spread chaos. But Mars isn't like that at all, at least according to the Roman Empire. They may or may not have been a bit biased. Mars used war as means to forge strong nations, rather than just to spread anarchy. Mars's goal was to create an age where war wasn't necessary anymore, through the use of war. Again, a bit biased. There are a few Pokémon that could fit this, but I wanted to use one that actually carried a weapon. 
Eventually, I decided on Marowak for this one. It carries the Thick Club, which it uses as a weapon, as opposed to a Pokemon like Escavalier, which just is a weapon, and it has been at the hands of a little bit of war, as seen with the dead Marowak in Generation 1 games. My Marowak is holding a Thick Club and has the Rock Head ability. He uses the moves Bone Meringue, Double Edge, Knock Off, and Stealth Rock. Jupiter, also known as Jove, is the King of the Gods as well as the God of the Sky and Thunder. The two emblems associated with him were the Thunderbolt, of course, and the Eagle. A large predatory bird with command of both the sky and lightning? Need I even go on? My Zapdos today is holding leftovers and has the pressure ability. It can use the moves Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice, Toxic, and Roost. Last but not least we have Saturn, another sort of jack-of-all-trades god. Due to his varying interpretations across different generations of Romans, Saturn has seen roles as a god of the state, a god of agriculture, and a god of time. He has held power over everything from plenty and wealth to liberation and renewal. All things considered, and after an especially long amount of time researching, I came to the conclusion that Celebi would be the best to represent this god. Aside from God of the State, which I really don't think any Pokémon could fulfill, Celebi's powers match up nicely to Saturn's. Celebi is able to bring new life to decaying forests, help plants to grow, and as seen in the movie and Pokémon Mystery Dungeon, even has some limited control over time, able to open portals between one point in time and another. My Celebi today is holding leftovers and has the ability Natural Cure. For attacks, he has Giga Drain, Recover, Substitute, and Baton Pass. Now comes an epic struggle of biblical proportions. Who will come out on top? Probably not me, because I suck. Let's battle. Yes, I do. I'm gonna sucker punch. I wish you resist, which is unfortunate. Oh, you had justified. I forgot you had justified, and there goes Mercury. Okay, off to a brilliant start already. <laughs> you can't really do anything to me, but at the same time, I can't do anything to you. And yes, I got the burn. That's amazing. Still have a sub up on Milotic, which is amazing. Got freeze dry, which is super effective against water types. So that was just a bit of an unfortunate switch in for me. But hey, I got that mam swine out of there, so I don't have to deal with it anymore. But I can dragon tail you, which will still do some pretty good damage to you, because you're a fairy type. You're gonna knock off my leftovers. I'm not happy about that. But... Oh, ah, uh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? <laughs> It's just a matter of time before Thunderbolt finally actually works. I would have really loved uh, if that had critted right there. But it's not going to, because the world's not fair. It's just not. What's the fun in fairness? Except for, you know, fun. And now, I think Ice Beam will do a lot to you. No, it won't! Of course it won't! Nothing works! Ah, oh, goodness. Goodness gracious! Just die, please! And then I'm just gonna finish you off, finally, with a Giga Drain. Good lord, that Ferrothorn was annoying. Oh. I assumed that you would send in, um, Talonflame. Considering it would be pretty easily, uh, have an advantage against me. But, hmm, maybe you have a plan up your sleeve. Who knows? But hey, if I can survive a Shadow Ball, which I can, it's very nice. Oh, so close. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Nice. Leftovers, thank you. Unless you happen to get a crit. What? That is not allowed! You are not allowed to just suddenly do more damage than you did before! Boo! Plague on both your houses! You used Belly Drum! I really wish you hadn't done that. I just had to survive one attack. Oh, but I'm faster. You didn't use Aqua Jet? You're running Belly Drum and you didn't use Aqua Jet? I'm scarfed. No! No, no, I'm scarfed. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no. I was going to use Healing Wish. Bring Mars back to full health. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. It hadn't been for that scarf. Goodness. Ah. Uh. <sighs> well. That was disappointing. Let's send in Mercury, like last time. Because, you know, it worked out so well last time. Nice. Ooh, heavy slam. But I survived. I think I outspeed you. 
Well, actually, I know I outspeed you, because you can't be Scarfed, you're a Mega Evolution. I'm going to Dragon Tail you, because I don't like that choice. I want you to choose something else for me. So the only thing I'm really concerned about is that Scizor, because I've got something with a type advantage against all the others. Well, I can at least Scald you for... Wow. Okay, I'm surprised that did that little damage. I'm going to Dragon Tail you, actually, so you don't even get a choice of what comes out next. So I'm just going to try and Scald you. I know you're... Oh, I'm faster? That's surprising. You must have, like, zero speed. Uh, zero invested in your speed. Because that's the only way I could ever outspeed you. Let's go with Mars. Send in the Mars. Rover. I'm going to boomerang you. And hope you stay in. But you don't. You switch into Halucha. Why didn't I see that coming? I should have set up Stealth Rock. But that's okay. Well, if you're just going to keep subbing, I'm just going to keep knocking them off. Free damage for me. You're gonna drain punch! Oh, that was the one thing. That was the one thing. Drain punch is gonna do nothing to it. Except for that amount that it just did. I don't like that you're contemplating. What are you contemplating? Okay, you just use drain punch. Nice! So I get to stay in and use roost. Which I am happy, happy, happy with. I'm gonna roost. Because I'm faster than you. And then I hope... And pray that I survive whatever attack comes next, and your bird is gonna take you out! Yes! Oh, man. Oh, you forfeited. Okay. Okay, next battle. Oh. I remember you. I'm recording this the same day that I recorded, um, Draw 2, Pick 1. And I fought this guy in Draw 2, Pick 1. And he was not fun at all. But I have a different team this time, so maybe I can get revenge. I have Fire Punch! Ooh, I have Fire Punch! Oh, you don't think I have Fire Punch, but I have Fire Punch! One hit! Oh, I was hoping that would be one hit. And yeah, that's gonna be activated by the Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, but I don't care! Mercury actually took something out! Finally! <laughs> you see? It wasn't stupid of me to put a Kecleon on this team, because it actually killed something! <laughs> that nothing else on my team could have easily killed. Hallelujah! Uh, Jupiter, you're up next. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid! I'm very, very stupid, because Hydreigon is still faster than Jupiter. I was going to try and hidden power ice it, but he's still faster than me regardless. So, it, wow. I feel stupid right now. I feel stupid right now. Yeah, I feel stupid right now. Right now. I'm going to poison you. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. You're the one with Magic Guard, aren't you? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Okay! Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch into Mars. And we're gonna knock off your leftovers or whatever you're holding. Please don't burn me! Please don't burn me! Okay, you didn't burn me yet. Unless I get a crit. You have Moonlight?! You're not allowed to have Moonlight! Okay, let's get one thing straight. <laughs> oh, dang. This Clefable is beastly. My only hope is to get a crit. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do any substantial damage. Is Giga Drain, like, incapable of getting a crit? I'm honestly befuddled. As to how I didn't get a crit in, like, seven uses, or however many uses of that, I didn't get a single critical hit. I'm floored. And how on earth has it not gotten a single critical hit? And you reduced my special attack! Thank you very much! That's exactly what I needed! If it has Moonlight... And it's not taking toxic damage, and it has maximum defenses, I can't win! Unless I get a critical hit! Which this game, at the moment, is not letting happen! This is taking forever. Jesu Christe! Have you run out of flamethrowers? Have you gotten to that point where you've run out of flamethrowers? You've actually run out of moves! Hold on, hold on, hold on! He actually ran out of moves! Oh, you cheeky- Yay! I'm doing things! Hooray! I wanted you to remove my special attack! Goodness gracious! Just answer me one question, and the question is how? Finally! Goodness gracious! So you're not blocked from critical hits, the game is just not working! Why on earth would you do that? Are you just taking pity on me? You couldn't have done that ten freaking minutes ago? Honestly? Alright. Yay! I lost! 
Bye, guys. <laughs> Running totals at the bottom. Next time I see a Clefable, I am going to ram it with my head. Perform Skull Bash. I don't know. Probably not Skull Bash, because that's not a very reliable move to use. 78 turns. Oh, yeah. Thanks to you, buddy. And did critical hits just have to not work? Whatever. See you all next time on Pokemon Dream Teams, as well as the rest of Pokemon 2. I'm off to do something less infuriating. Bye-bye.